My name is Steve Giannata and I'm Chairman of Neurological Surgery at Keck USC School of Medicine. And today, uh, Aaron uh, uh, cohen Gadal has asked me to discuss uh, with you uh, microvascular decompression for both trigeminal neuralgia and hemifacial spasm, and I'm uh, honored to do so. First, trigeminal neuralgia. It's important, uh, probably the most important thing about trigeminal neuralgia is making the diagnosis. And of, uh, of all the components that go into making the diagnosis, obviously the dis patient's description of their pain is probably the most critical. And the thing that I look for and ask about uh, is the uh, electrical nature of the pain. If the patient describes something that is fleeting, uh, uh, sharp or stabbing, uh, or I'm always listening for the keyword, namely electric shock. If I hear that, then uh, I think we're probably 90% on our way to establishing the diagnosis. Obviously, the pain is fleeting. It's not constant. Uh, it can occur in any of the three, all, all of the three divisions of uh, the trigeminal nerve. <clears throat> probably the second most important component of the patient's description of their pain uh, are is trigger phenomena. If a patient walks in uh, to the office and is describing their pain and they're holding their hand against their face, that's probably a good sign that you're dealing with some uh, other form of pain, perhaps some atypical uh, facial pain that may very well not be uh, a trigeminal neuralgia, at least uh, from uh, the association of a, of a vascular compression. Uh, not all patients will have pain-free intervals, but uh, pain-free interval is, is, uh, is not uh, 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 a factor that would uh, preclude the diagnosis uh, of uh, trigeminal neuralgia. Uh, the causes of trigeminal neuralgia, obviously the cause that we're most interested in and the most common cause that we see as surgeons is vascular compression. Clearly, patients can present with trigeminal neuralgia with associated tumors. Most commonly, these are uh, probably meningiomas at the petrotentorial junction. Uh, less commonly, uh, trigeminal tumors. Uh, frankly, most tumors in this area do not cause typical trigeminal neuralgia symptoms, they cause uh, hip algesia or some other dysfunction of the trigeminal nerve. <clears throat> However, tumors can cause classic trigeminal neuralgia and frequently do so because they actually cause the vascular compression by uh, compressing the artery between the tumor and the nerve. And <clears throat> you will frequently find that when uh, operating on these people to remove the tumor. We've seen arteriovenous malformations, small ones especially, of the brainstem that can actually cause vascular compression. And rather than a cause of trigeminal neuralgia, more an association of trigeminal neuralgia, of course, is multiple sclerosis. Uh, rarely do these people have a vascular compression syndrome, but if you see enough patients with multiple sclerosis with trigeminal symptoms, every once in a while you will find someone who uh, has uh, a vascular uh, compression phenomenon as a cause of their trigeminal neuralgia. Treatment, uh, I tend to divide the treatment uh, uh, categories into destructive and non-destructive. Uh, virtually everything on the left side of the slide is in some way, shape, or form destructive. Uh, rhizotomies, radiofrequency, nerve avulsions, uh, these are, that usually refers to local nerve avulsion, like for instance, the inferior alveolar. Uh, compression or decompression, glycerol, and of course, radiosurgery using any one of a number of methodologies. The most common one and the one that we use most frequently is gamma knife. Of the non-destructive, MBD, of course, is the classic. Uh, and with the nerve, I put nerve stimulator on there. Uh, rarely do we use the nerve, peripheral nerve stimulator for trigeminal neuralgia. More commonly, it's used for atypical facial pain. Along with the classic symptoms uh, to help uh, us establish the di diagnosis, or I should say to establish the cause, some form of uh, complementary imaging uh, is extremely helpful. And now 